Nacho. Jesus was about to go into place that he's not supposed to go into. Yesu alikuwa amekaribia kuingia maeneo ambayo hakupasa kuyaenda. Because of the uh, status of those that were from Samaria. Kwa sababu ya watu waliokuwa na kama eneo ya Samaria. But when I look at the ministry of Jesus he went to those that were outcast. Nikiangalia huduma ya Yesu aliweza kufikia hata wale waliotengwa ama kubaguliwa. He went to the lepers. If you look for Jesus you would find him in the strangest places. Not the places you would expect him to be. And if you want to find him in Kenya he will be in the strangest places. Not where you would expect him to be. That's just Jesus. He never changes. So he said it says he, he must needs go through Samaria. Now, verse 5. He come at the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the passive ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. And Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied, tired with his journey, he sat on the well. It was about the sixth hour. Na hapo palikuwa ni na kisima cha Jacobo. Basi Yesu kwa sababu amechoka kwa safari yake akaketi vivi hivi kisimani nayo ilikuwa yapata saa sita. Well, that... It helps me a lot when I know because there have been times when I've been tired, you know. I think the last couple of nights I was sleeping like three hours a night. And last night I lay down at 2.30 this morning. And when I woke up at 7.30, wide awake, I had not moved. I, I was still in the same position I went to sleep. So it's like the Lord knocked me out. But so Jesus was tired. How many feel happy that Jesus even got tired? Does that, does that help you a little bit? Who's tired here today? One person there. There's several people that are tired. Lord, refresh them today that they don't be tired and go to sleep in the service. Amen. You know, we have meetings all over the place and sometimes you get a crying baby. And there are many people, they don't preach it, they don't like a baby crying all the time. But I don't mind crying babies. I can't stand snoring saints. And people say, well the baby's making a noise. It's not mine, so I'm happy. <laughs> Amen. Alright, so now, there comes the woman of Samaria to draw water and then Jesus said, give me to drink. Imagine being someone who's about to give the Savior a drink of water and your whole life is about to change. Not only is your life about to change, but you are about to become a mighty evangelist. And I know there's people, they don't like women around ministry or whatever. You know. But God doesn't look at that way. Are you with me? Because God will use anybody that will make themselves available. And people have asked me over the years, how come that some of the most powerful ministries have been women? Who wants to know why? Raise your hand. Who, wants, who doesn't want to know? If you don't want to know, I won't tell you. Who wants to know why? Because a woman is used to being in a submissive role to a man so it's easy for her to now let the Lord lead her and guide her wherein as a man is, is I'm in charge and I submit to nobody and so as a man you have to really yield to the Lord 
Hivyo kama mwanamume inabidi utie bidii ya kujiachilia kwa Bwana. Are you with me? Kuna mimi. So anyway, let's get back to this lady. Turudi she, katika She didn't know that a whole world was about to change. Ya kujua kwamba ulimwengu ulikuwa umekaribia kubadilika wote. So when I see Jesus, he's going around, he's not looking for multitudes, he's looking for one person. Kwa hivyo ninapoona Yesu anazunguka huku na kule, atafuti mati anatafuta mtu mmoja. Whose whole life is about to change. Mtu ambaye maisha yake yamekaribia kubadilika. I came to Kenya. Nimekuja Kenya believing for at least 120 that's all i'm looking for 120 people nikiamini mungu anipe tu watu 120 now i already got a bunch of people yesterday nimepata watu jana in your hometown amen but if we can in nairobi get 120 people i'm very happy na hapa nairobi kama tutapata watu 120 ta fry sana most successful meeting na itakuwa mkutano umefanikiwa kabisa and somebody said why 120 mtu anauliza kwa nini 120 walikuwa wangapi siku ya pentecosti katika chumba cha juu 120 walikuwa wanaume watu 120 ambao walijaa then 3000 then 5000 wakaleta 3000 5000 and we are still shaking today because of what happened in the upper room leo bado tunatetemekea kilichofanyika katika chumba cha juu so while we want to see millions touched wakati ilali tunataka kuona mamilioni yameguzwa it always comes with one inaanza na mmoja one man or one woman mwanamke mmoja ama mwanaume mmoja touch by jesus akiguzwa na yesu and then they go out akiondoka hapa and everywhere they go kila pote waenda Jesus touches through them. Yesu anaguza kupitia wao. Maybe you here today and you feel like you've been rejected. Wengi wenu mlio hapa mnahisi ni kama umekataliwa. And you've been pushed out. Na umesukumwa mbali. And you're not accepted. Na umkubaliki tena. Nobody will pick you. Ni kana hakuna mtu atakuchukua tena. Jesus says I choose you. Yesu anasema nakuchagua. I pick you. Ninakuchukua wewe. Come here. Jo hapa. I'm going to anoint you. Nitakupaka. I'm going to empower you. Nitakutia nguvu. I'm going to grace you. Nita I'm going to equip you. I'm going to infuse you. I'm going to use you. It doesn't matter what man says. The Bible says not many high and mighty are chosen. God takes the weak things of the world. And the foolish things of the world. To confound the wise. You say why? So that no flesh should glory in his presence. For without him we can do nothing. Without him we would fail. Bila yeye without him we would be drifting. Bila yeye kando. Like a ship. Kama meli. Without a sail. Bila yule but thank God we're not without him. Mungu Hallelujah. Tuko bila yeye. If the Lord could pick me. Kama bwana anaweza kunitoa from the eastern cape kutoka kule eastern cape of southern africa ya afrika kusini in the land of the koza inji ya koza and call me to go now 89 countries of the world na kunipeleka inji 89 will find you wherever you are basi wewe atakupata mahali and he will put his power on you ataweka nguvu zake juu yako send you na atakutuma and just so you know as I stand you today naposimama hapa leo i am a kenyan mimi ni mkenya amen Hallelujah. All right, moving right along. So he says to the woman, give me something to drink. And the disciples have gone away to buy meat. They went to get food because he was hungry. I, I think they went to go get Kentucky Fried Chicken. Or whatever. What chicken do you have here? Huh? What in kuku do you have here? Huh? Uh, do, you, do you eat in kuku? Munakula kuku. What's Engo the name kuku. of it? Uh. KFC. Well, that's KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> his disciples went out to get some food. Wanafunzi wa Yesu walienda kutafuta chakula. Then says the woman of Samaria to him, How is that you being a Jew... You ask a drink of me. Ask a drink of me. Which I'm a woman of Samaria, for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. What was Jesus doing? He was breaking protocol. 
alikuwa anaenda kinyume na itifaki Jesus Yesu is the protocol breaker ndiye mvunja itifaki I'm telling you right now na kwa Mbia sasa Jesus disrupts everything Yesu uchokora kila kitu Many are the plans of man. Nyingi ndio mipango ama makusudi ya Mungu. Man endeavors to execute God's plan by his hand. Na mwanadamu hawezi kutimiza kusudi la Mungu kwa nguvu zake. But it is not by the plan of man. Na hivyo si kwa nguvu za mtu and by the hand of man. Na kwa mkono wa mtu that the plan will be executed. Kwamba hii itaweza kutimia kusudi. It's by the mighty hand of God. Ni ila kwa mkono mkuu wa Mungu. Can you say amen? amina. And so man must lay his plan down. Hivyo mtu anaweza kumweka rafiki yake chini. To get God's plan. Ili apate kusudi la Mungu. All of those people in authority. Watu wote walio katika nafasi ya mamlaka. Would say to Jesus. Wale mwambia Yesu. No no no. La la. No you can't talk to that woman. Wezi ongea na mwanamke huyu. You are going to get yourself into trouble. Utajiingiza kwa matatizo. If this is picked up by the Jerusalem Post. Kama hii itachukuliwa na wakubwa wa Yerusalemu. It will spread all over that you are breaking protocol. Na yeye kila mahali kwamba wewe umeenda kinyume na maadili. She is an outcast. Huyu ni mtu ambaye ni wa kiwango cha chini. Not only is she an outcast. Sio tu kwamba ni mtu aliyetengwa na mabadiliko. Her background, her nationality. Kule ametoka nyuma ya mahali ametoka. But she is a woman who's been around. Ni mwanamke ambaye amezunguka zunguka huko. Na utaenda kupata ripoti mbaya kukuhusu. Say, oh, oh, Jesus. Ah Yesu. We saw him down there he was at the well. Tulimuona pale chini kizimani. And there was a very questionable woman there. Na kulikuwa mwanamke ambaye alikuwa naye ambaye hatujui tabia yake. And he was talking to her. Na ana And he even asked for a drink. Na atakamuomba maji. <laughs> Inawezekanaje? <laughs> Alasha. We must pull his credentials. Lazima tukague yeye ni mtu wa to the headquarters of the denomination. Tutampeleka tumstaki kwa wakuu wa dini. He will have to appear. Lazima utokee before the board. Mbele ya wazee wa dini. He must give an account of Lazima what he was doing there. Utoe taarifa ni nini ulikuwa anafanya na mama huyo. It's terrible. Maana ni jambo mbaya. His whole reputation is at stake. Umeweka heshima yako kwa hali ya hatari. What are people going to think? Watu watafikiria nini? But if you read through the gospels Ukisoma injili ukiendelea. He did that all the time. Alifanya hivyo mara kwa mara. They accused him of being a gluttonous man and a wine bibber because he was always hanging out with. Walimsutumu kwamba yeye ni mlavi anayeshinda na watu wa ovu. So Jesus Jesus picks the craziest people too. Yesu anapenda kuchukua watu wanaoonekana wabaya pia. He picks a tax collector. Akachukua mtosha ushuru. Who wants a tax collector working? Nani anataka kuwa rafiki ya mtosha ushuru? Jesus Yesu. He picks the strangest people. Anawachukua watu wasio na tajriba nje. Out of 12. Katika wale 12. One was a betrayer. Mmoja alikuwa msaliti. He even knew that. Na alijua huyo ni msaliti. One was a doubter. Mwingine alikuwa ana imani kwa kile alikuwa anasema. He was always getting into trouble. Mwingine siku zote alimweka kwa shida. And this was his dream team. Na hii ndio timu ya ndoto yake. And people say, I don't know why Jesus picked those people. Na mtu anasema sijui kwa nini Yesu aliwachukua watu kama hao. Seriously. Hakika. I would never pick those people. Mimi siwezi fanya na watu kama hao. But Jesus comes and he looks. Yesu anakuja na kuangalia. And he will find the people that he's going to use. Anawapata watu wale atakaowatumia. He said you didn't choose me. Anasema wewe hukunichagua. I chose you. Nilikuchagua wewe. Can I be honest with you here? Niwe dhahiri na wewe hapa? I would never have picked me to do what I'm doing now. Kama yaani hange nichagua kufanya yale nafanya sasa. I would have, when I was young in the ministry. Nilipokuwa mchanga katika huduma. I was going to do everything. Nilikuwa nafanya kila kitu. You know, my wife and I we were married this now October 42 years ago. Oktoba takuwa miaka 42 ya ndoa. Amen. Amen. And um, I was young. Nilikuwa mchanga. I met her I was 19 she was 18. Nilikuwa miaka 19 alikuwa 18. I was married I was 20 she was 19. Nikioa alikuwa alikuwa 20 akiwa 19. I had a guitar and a suitcase. Nilikuwa na 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 suitcase. But I didn't have a car she had the car. Sikuwa na gari alikuwa na gari. That's why I married her. Ndio maana nilimwoa. Cuz I knew we could get out of town. Maana nilijua tunaweza toka mjini. If the people didn't like our singing. Kama watu hawakupenda kuimba kwetu. And so uh, but I was ready for everything. I was going to shake the world. Nilikuwa nafanya kila kitu nilikuwa naenda kutigiza dunia. And I would pray I would say Lord I'm ready. 
Why are you using that person? What about me? He says, you're not ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. ready. Lord, I'm ready. You're not ready. Lord, I am ready, I'm ready. You're not ready. So, um, I, there was 1980 when the ministry, 81 got married, and, and 82, 83, I'm ready, I'm ready, 84, 85, I'm ready. About 86, I say, oh, God, I'm not ready. He says, okay, now, you can go do that. I went, what? Hand over your best. Uh, when I was ready, you said I'm not ready. Now I'm not ready, you said I'm ready. I don't understand. He said, when you were ready, you were ready in your ability and your strength. And now, you know that you have none of that. And now you'll be ready in my power and my strength. So we always must be in that place of total dependency upon the Lord. Every day when we wake up, we're totally dependent upon Him. Can you say amen? Where you pray, which we're going to do that, where we pray a prayer of consecration, where we tell the Lord, I'll go where you want me to go. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll say what you want me to say. I'll be what you want me to be. Not my will, but thine will. So even for when I travel, people call me, come over here. I say, I can't. No, you can come. We will give you money. I'm not coming for money. We come over here, you're going to speak. I, I, can, I, I can only go where he tells me to go. Because in the early days, I went everywhere. And there were some places I shouldn't have gone. And I said, Lord, why did I get myself into trouble? He said, I never told you to go there. And so I started to learn to only go where God told, tells you to go. And I know that I'm standing here today on beautiful Kenyan soil where mighty runners in the world run because I've come to put fire on other runners that are going to run. And just like they're runners in the natural, they go for the gold. They're going to be spiritual runners on this field that are going to run for the kingdom of heaven. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's get back. I don't want to leave him too long at the well because he's thirsty. So so let's get Jesus to have a drink here. Amen. So he says, Can I want something to drink? She says, You shouldn't be talking to me. And Jesus answered, said, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that said to you, Give me the drink, you would have asked of him, and he would have given you living water. Yes, Kama ungalijua karama ya Mungu naye ni nani anayekuambia haya nipe maji ninywe ungalimuomba yeye naye angelikupa maji hayo yaliyo hai The woman said unto him sir you've got nothing to draw with and the well is deep where do you get this living water from Yule mwanamke akamwambia bwana hauna kitu cha kuteka na kizima ni kirefu basi umeyapata waji wapi haya maji yaliyo hai She says are you greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof, and his children and his cattle? Jesus said to her, Whoever drinks of this water is going to thirst again. But whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the, but the water that I give him shall be in him a well of water spring up to everlasting life. So Dr. Robert, Jesus was at a well talking to a woman about a well and she became a well. Na yeye mwanamke akafanyika kisima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say this after me, Jesus. Sema na mimi, Yesu. Was at a well. Alikuwa kisimani. Talking to a woman about a well. Akiongea na mwanamke kuhusu kisima. She became a well. 
naye mwanamke akafanyika kisima sitting on this field today umeketi katika uwanja ule every one of you kila mmoja wenu at the very least katika udogo kabisa is a well ni kisima Every village must have well. We have Kila to have, have water. Ki, ki, ji, ji, na you will be a water supply for somebody out there. Wewe utakuwa wa kumnyweesha mtu maji mahali. And that water supply is living water. Na maji hayo chanzo chake ni kizima cha maji ya wai. So I'm focusing on the well this morning. Ninaweza kuweka tafakari zangu zaidi katika kizima cha maji. Because I'm talking about a river. Lakini jioni tutaongea juu ya mto. But I got to get everybody as a well. Leo nataka kuandaa kila mtu kama kizima and the problem you have with wells they get blocked up. Na shida ulio nayo na visima ni kwamba zinaweza zikazibwa. The enemy always comes to block the well. Adui huja kufunika kisima. When Abraham dug all the wells, Abrahamu alipochimba vizima, the Philistines blocked the wells. Wa Filisti waliweka mchanga wakafunika. Isaac came, Isaac akaja, and blocked the wells. Akaanza kufukua na kuchimbua tena. Isaac means laughter. Isaac na maanisha kicheko. Joy unblocks the wells. Kwa hivyo furaha inachimbua visima. So we're going to unblock wells here today. Leo tunataka right kuchimbua visima tena. If you don't want your well unblocked, you better run now. Kama you can. utaki kisima chako kifunguke, basi ondoka toroka you sasa. You better break a world record and exit the stadium. Lazima utoke kwa mbio sana uvunje rekodi. Because I'm not responsible for what happens to you. Maana mimi sitawajibika kwa yale atakupata. You're, you're going to be shaken by the hand of God. Utatingizwa kwa mkono wa Mungu. Somebody say how can you say that? Unasemaje hivyo mtanauliza? It's my job. Ni kazi yangu. What I do. Ni ndio vinafanya. Can you say amen? Sema amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. So in this passage I see one of the great stories. Katika habari hii tunasoma naona habari moja ya maarufu sana. Of evangelism. Ya uinjilisti. How a low caste outcast woman. Jinsi mwanamke ambaye hakuwa na na kusemwa vema became a mighty evangelist. Aligeuzwa akawa mwinjilisti maarufu mkubwa. It astounds everybody. Inashangaza kila mtu. Say she didn't train at our um, establishment. Hakuenda kwa chuko shule yetu ya Biblia. She didn't come through our ranks. Hakupitia katika maeneo yetu. Where did she come from? Yeye anatokea wapi? I don't know. La. But there's something different about her. Kuna kitu tofauti kumhusu. Amen. Amina. And that's what happens when Jesus comes. Na hicho ndicho ufanyika Yesu anapotokea. When he reveals himself on the side of you. Anapojidhihirisha kwako. Wherever you go. Popote ukwendapo. People will say I see Jesus in your voice. Watu watasema namuona Yesu. I hear Jesus in your voice. Namusikia Yesu kwa sauti yako. I feel Jesus in your touch. Namuhisi Yesu katika mguzo wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are multitudes kuna umati that are waiting to be touched in the city of Nairobi katika mji wa Nairobi there are multitudes kuna umati that will never come to church ambao hawatawahi kuja kanisani what program you have sijali wewe una program ya kaje hawatawahi kuja but Jesus lakini Yesu on the inside of you alienda ni yako going outside the four walls of the church akienda nje ya kutaneza kanisa the highways and the byways katika njia kuu na vichochororo their lives will be impacted maisha itaguzwa they start following you wataanza kufuata and just I, I, can i be can i just be with you wakuulize je naweza kuwa na wewe please don't go tafadhali usiende you walk in the stores in the shops watatembea na wewe kila mahali and i do that all the time nafanya hivyo kila wakati i don't tell people who i am Si wambi watu mimi ni nani? In America I just there's a lot of people there's millions of people they don't know who I am. Wengi kule Amerika hawajui mimi ni nani. So I walk in. Natembea ndani na ingia. I just start to talk to them. Naanza kuwaongelesha. And they say I feel I feel something. Nasema na hisi kitu. What, what is this? Ni nini hiyo? I said um this Jesus. Na mwambia ah ni Yesu. And then I just start to talk to them. Alafu nasimama naongea na wao. I take an hour, two hours, three hours. Ni sali moja masaa mawili matatu. And then I say I must go. No, can you just say just a little bit more? And then later they say, "What do you do?" Alafu mwisho anauliza, "Wewe ufanya nini?" I say I'm a pastor. Nasema mimi ni mchungaji. You don't look like a pastor. Wewe ukai kama mchungaji. Go, oh, thank you so much. Namwambia asante sana. You help me. Amen. Because they don't what they say, you I don't smell religion on you. Ananiambia hautoi harufu ya dini wewe. As as minister something you got to always keep your Amen. Wakati mwingine kama wahuduma tumetembea na dini yetu sauti ya dini na cheo ya dini. Yeah. So 
Even when you let us pray. Uh, oh God, as we are here gathered today, Lord, we pray that thou art thy great love, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, and then people try to use bigger words. What to you, you must use bigger words if you're going to impress God. Lord, in our great foreknowledge, thou hast seen God. And then they find some word that nobody uses. You know, like 400 years old, they use this word. Everybody's like, huh? What is that? He just said. And, and God's sitting there and he says to an angel, What did he just say? <laughs> oh, uh, the angel said, Don't worry. It's a made-up English word. <laughs> it comes from Latin and French. <laughs> they confuse, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. God just answers the cry of the heart. And he hears the cry. If you go out and you stand in the middle of the city, you can hear the cry of the lost. Even if in your city there's a tower and they're crying from the tower. I, I because I hear the cry of people. They're crying out. They're looking for something that's real. But they don't know Jesus. But when they see him, one look in his face you will never be the same again you will never fit into the mold everything changes the way you think the way you walk the way you talk everything they expect you to do you do the opposite not to be difficult Jesus was always doing everything they didn't expect him to do Jesus was always doing everything they didn't expect him to do Healed on the Sabbath. He heals on the Sabbath day. Look at him there hanging out in the city. How terrible. That's how they were. But it's no different today. So you've got to be a disciple, not a Pharisee. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, so. The woman said, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come here to draw. Yule mwanamke akamwambia, Bana nipe maji hayo, nisiyeone kiu tena, wala nisije hapa kuteka. Now she's interested now. She doesn't Sasa, know what water he's got, but she wants his water. Sasa tayari ameshawishika na taka yale maji, licha ya kwamba ajui anakaaje maji hayo. Now Jesus is going to locate her. Yesu anaenda kumfikia. Not for his purpose, but for her purpose, so that she understands he knew everything about her. Sasa Yesu anamfikia yule mwanamke sio kwa ajili yake mwenyewe ila ule mwanamke ajue kusudi la Mungu kwa maisha yake. Go call your husband. Akamwambia nenda kamuite mume. And come here. Na uje naye hapa. The woman said. Mwanamke yule akamwambia. I don't have a husband. Mimi sina mume. Jesus said to her you have well said you have no husband. Yesu akamwambia umesema kweli hauna mume. Because you've had five husbands. Maana umekuwa nao watano. And the one you with now is not your husband. Naye uliye naye sasa pia si mume. So you talk the truth. Hivyo umesema kweli. Five. Watano. Not one. Si moja. Not two. Si wawili. Not three. Si watatu. Not four. Si wanne. Five. Tano. And now she's with somebody else. Uh, na hata huko na mwingine. So she was trying to find a man. Alikuwa na jaribu kutafuta mwingine. And Jesus came and said, I am the man. Yesu wakaja, akasema ni mimi uyo sasa. But I'm sasa. about to change your life. Lakini naenda kuibadilisha maisha yako. What you're looking for. Unatafuta that nini. That you can't find. Kile unatafuta wezi kupata. In a man. Katika mwana mme. You're going to find in me. Utakipata ndani yangu. So she says, uh, our fathers worshipped in this mountain and you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Yule mwana mke kasema, baba zetu waliabudu katika mlima huu na njini mnaabudu Jerusalemu. Then Jesus said, woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you will neither in this mountain nor at Jerusalem worship the Father. Yesu wakamuambia yule mama, unisadiki saa inakuja ambayo amta muabudu buwana katika mlima huu wala kule Jerusalemu. Look at verse 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the Father seeketh such to worship him. In 
in America we've got people who think if they go to Israel kuna watu kule America wanasema wakienda Israeli and I've been to Israel I've toured there and I've spoken in the Knesset I've been you know imeenda huko nimehubiri it's the land of the Bible I understand ni nchi ya Biblia but I don't feel any stronger anointing there than you lakini si si upako mwingi huko kuliko hapa because <laughs> even though Jesus walked there Licha ya kwamba Yesu alitembea Even though there was a time when the, and I told this in Ethiopia I said this because Ethiopia they called the lost tribe of Israel you know that Ethiopia pia wanaitwa kabila la mwisho la Israeli I said well you're not lost anymore because I found you so I'm telling everybody you're not lost I just found you okay no, number ah ujapotea kwa sababu nimekupata tu Number 2 Jambo la pili they said that you kept the ark of the covenant Nasema unaendelea kufunga so wame... many rumors about movies What? have been made. Sanduku la agano limehifadhika huku. Kuna maneno mengi yanazungumzwa juu ya hiyo. When you cross the valley of the crescent moon. Ukinapovuka and you uh, take a leap from the lion's head. You know all the stuff and the Indiana Jones movies and looking for the cup of Christ and all this stuff, you know. Habari hizo nyingi unazizikia kukivuka bonde hili ukiingia eneo fulani. Kapata sanduku la agano. There will be power. There's no power in there. Hakuna nguvu ndani yake. Haipo hapo. It would be like this tissue box. Itakuwa tu kama kisanduku yeah, yeah. hiki cha yeah. uh, vipanguzi hivi. It's empty. Well, there are tissues in it. Uh, ndani kuna kartasi hizo za kujipanguza tissue. It's a relic of the past. Inakaa kama kisanduku tu. Because he doesn't live in there. Lakini yeye akai ndani ya hiyo sanduku. Because something happened. Kitu kilifanyika. When Jesus cried it is finished. Yesu alipopasa sauti akalia akasema imekwisha. The veil of the temple was torn in two. Pasia la hekalu lipasuka mara mbili. From top to bottom. Kutoka juu mpaka chini. The Holy Ghost came out of there. Roho mtakatifu akatoka. Never again to live there in. Na haja wa irudi tena ndani ya kisanduku. But to come and live in your heart and mind. Lakini leo amekuja kuishi kwa moyo wako. So you become the temple of the living God. Ili uwe hekalu la Mungu aliye hai. That's why he said come out from among them and touch not the unclean. Ndio maana akasema toka miongoni mwao na wale wote kutoka kwa Mungu. And I will receive under you. Nami nitakuwa baba kwako. And you'll be my sons and daughters. Nanyi mtakuwa wanangu wa kiume na wa kike. That's why the Bible says we have this treasure in earth and heaven. Bwana bila nasema ndani yetu kuna hazina So I told them you might have kept the ark but every one of you that is born again you are an ark you are a carrier of the presence we have to go to Israel stand by the wall and whatever I was watching television and this American preacher and he says huyu mhubiri wa Kiamerika anasema under the western wall anasema niko katika ukuta wa mashariki I'm close to where the holy of holies is na niko hapo karibu napata katika wa watakatifu na nimeshika maombi yenu and i'm watching the tv going what ni kama angalia kwa runinga anasema anasema nini huyu that's idolatry hii ni ibada ya sanamu under the western wall unaendaje katika ukuta wa kulia i thought when i go to israel now i tell him i want you to take me there where he was na mwambie basi ndio ndapoenda na mwambie nataka tuende katika ukuta wa kulia so strong akaisi upako zaidi mkuu I went down there It was like being in a cave Nienda pale nikasikia ni kama niko kwenye pango It was musty It was musty Iko na 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 uvundo I felt no anointing Because I didn't see kitu Because God doesn't live there Bana Mungu akae upo He doesn't live there Akae kwenye pango tena You know where he lives Unajua anaishi wapi He lives in Kenya Anakaa Kenya Hallelujah. All right. So, you can see I have a lot of work to do in two days. Unaona niko na kazi mingi ya kufanya kwa siku mbili? I've got a job of work to do here now. Kazi nyingi sana. I said he lives in Kenya. Nimesema anaishi Kenya Mungu. He lives in your heart. Anakaa ndani yako. You got to let him live big on the inside. Utamruhusu akae kwa ukuu ndani mwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to speak through your mouth. Anataka kuwa kwa 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 I'm sorry for picking on America. Samani kwa sababu ya ko. In America you watch Christian television. America hipo. You always got to send money in. Unaenda kutuma fedha mzako. You send your $1000 today. Tuma 
I will spend, send you special stone from Jerusalem. And then when you pray, you can touch the stone. You will feel the presence of the Lord. If you go to Jerusalem, they got no more stone. It's, 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 it's a crazy people. It's idolatry. I'm telling you, it's idolatry. Just make a statue of the preacher and the people can rub his belly. Come I have ruined television sets at my house. Because I come home from a crusade. I put the TV on. I'm listening to this preacher and he's talking rubbish. I take my shoe out. Boom! I take the other shoe. My wife said, what are you doing? I said, you're talking rubbish. She said, don't watch it. Change the channel. <laughs> Hallelujah. You go to the house. Unaingia kwa nyumba. Every trinket. Kila kitu. Made in China. Ulichonacho kimetoka kwa kimetoka kwa China. For your love gift this month. Kwa ajili ya uh, zawadi ya pendo lako mwezi huu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For your love gift this month. Zawadi yako ya mwezi huu we will send you special oil tutakutumia mafuta speciali from the mount of olives ambayo imetoka mlima wa mtu i have specially prayed over hii mafuta nimeiombea ha no i'm not taking away from anointing oil Mimi si toi kutoka kwa mafuta You can't buy the gift of God. Wewe ununua kipawa You can't mungu. pay money to get the anointing. Wewe lipa pesa upate mafuta ya Mungu. The anointing is free. Upako unapeanwa bure. Hainunuliki. Free. Ni bure. Come and get it without money without price. So it's for everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So as you know, I'm not a popular guest on some of the <laughs> because, because I break all the protocols. I give them, they bring me all these cue cards I must read. A cue, you know what a cue card is, yeah? Well, I'm just so happy to be here today with this so-called broadcasting network and, and I'm reading and I'm going, I don't believe that. I, said, I can't read that. They said, why not? It's the flow of the program. I said, I don't believe any of that. You're making me say what I don't believe. I'm not from the White House where you just read a teleprompter. They said, well, say whatever. I said, you're not going to like what I'm about to say. Mimi napenda kile nakaribia kusema. And you can't pay me to say something. Mimi uweze kunilipa niseme kitu. People, people say, now be careful when you go. Don't say this. Don't say that. Mbia, uwe makini unapohenda kule ususema kitu. I've already, kitu. you know, with some places we're going to Africa, they, the people worship ancestors. Kuna maa eneo mingine upenda Afrika, watu wanaabudu ba mzao. So they say, now don't mention about anything to do with worshiping ancestors. Kwa hivu wananiambia taadhari, ususema chochote kuhusu kwa 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 kuhus
Amina. Hallelujah. 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 All right. So here, he said, the woman says, I know Messiah comes, which is called the Christ. And when he's come, he'll tell us all things. In other words, when he comes, he's, he'll fix it all up. And Jesus said to her, yes, I then am speaking to you. I'm he. Now, what's so powerful about this passage is that he was there by himself. There was nobody there to actually record everything that happened. And I don't have proof for what I'm about to tell you. I don't personally, this is just me. I don't believe you just said, you know, you've had five, but the one you're with is not your husband. Because when she left, she said he told me everything. So he probably, this is what he probably said. Let me tell you something. The first man you had, you were really in love. And he abused you. And you actually wanted to be married and you wanted to be a wife. And he abused you so badly that you left. The next man that you married, he was really a good man. And uh, there were certain things about him that even today when you walk the marketplace, you smell certain fragrances that remind you of him. And you feel guilty because you never should have left him. And then the next one, he, he went through her life to where she knew without a doubt this is the Christ. He revealed herself, himself to her. But he didn't do it to put her down. He was showing her, I know everything about you. I'm not condemning you. Because John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten, begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. So that even if Jesus in the flesh walked in here right now and, and he sat down next to you he would never bring up your past. He would never bring up your faults, your failures. As, as you sat with him, immediately, you would say, inside yourself, you say, I'll never do that again. Because of his presence. Because he does, that's how he is. He, he comes and puts his arms around you. Are you with me? Because that's how Jesus is. He'll find the homeless person on the street put his arm around him. He'll find a man in a bar. Do you know how many testimonies that we have are people that were in nightclubs. They were, they were snorting cocaine. And they heard a voice calling them. They thought it was their friend. They thought it was their friend. Called them by name. They were high. And they called them by name. He says, I called you. <laughs> and then God totally delivered them. Set them free. From, from drugs. And they in the ministry. Traveling around the world. And I can tell you, testimony after testimony after testimony. Where Jesus found them. So, so look at this here verse 27 
aber and he, upon this his disciples came and marveled that he talked with the woman yet no man said why what seekest thou or why are you talking to her mara hiyo wakaja wanafunzi wake wakastaajabu kwa sababu alikuwa akisema na mwanamke lakini hakuna aliyesema unatafuta nini au mbona unasema naye then the woman left her water pot and went away into the city and said to the men basi yule mwanamke akauacha mtungi wake akaenda zake mjini akawaambia watu You never leave your water pot anywhere. Huwezi acha mtungi wako That's a valuable container. You don't leave it somewhere. Ni chombo cha dhamana, huwezi acha tu popote. Chombo chako cha kutega maji. Water pots are precious. Ni nini yako cha dhamana? If you don't want if you don't have one you can't carry water from a well. Maana kama una chombo chako cha dhamana hutachotea maji. She was so overwhelmed. She forgot it. She just left it. Alivamiwa na uwepo wa Mungu kiasi kwamba akasahau chombo chake akawaambia wana kijiji come and see a man which told me all things that i ever did is not this the christ john mtazame mtu aliyeniambia mambo yote niliyoyatenda je and they went kiri huyu si ndiye kristo and they went out of the city and came to him wakatoka wakamwendea why, why would all the men why would the whole village come kwa nini kijiji kizima kije because they knew those women kwa sababu ya mwanamke probably many men had known her And when she said come see a man. Alipoambia njoni muone mwanamke. This must be some man we we never heard of a man like la, this. Akasema huyu lazima awe mwanaume. In her eyes. Sababu alikuwa ashapojua. That her life had been touched and changed. Lazima alikuwa ameguzwa na kabadilika. She had no guilt. Hakuwa tena na dhambi ya kujukumu hakuwa na haya tena. She just says come. Akamwambia njoni. You've got to see him. Muone. This is the Christ. Huyu ndiye Kristo. Johnny. And so they all went to go and see Jesus. Wote wakaenda kumuona Yesu. So this woman becomes an evangelist. Huyu mwanamke akafanyika mwinjilisti. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Wa injili ya Yesu Kristo. Can you say amen? Sema amina. May this happen all over Kenya. Naomba hii ilifanyike Kenya yote. In 47 counties. Katika magatusi ya 47. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so they went out of the city and came to him in the meanwhile the disciples prayed and him said master eat. Basi huo akatoka mjini wakamwendea. Huku nyuma wanafunzi wakisema rabi ule. He said I have meat to eat that you don't know of. Akawaambia mimi ninacho chakula msichokijua ninyi. Therefore said the disciples one to another hath any man brought him anything to eat? Basi wanafunzi wake wakasema sana je. Mtu amemletea chakula. And Jesus said my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and finish his work. Yesu akawaambia chakula changu ndicho hiki niatende mapenzi yake aliyenipeleka nikamilize kazi yake. And then he says this and he says this to Kenya today. Akasema vile anathambia hivi Kenya leo. Say not the four months then come of the harvest. Je, amsemi bado miezi minne ndipo yaje mvuno. Behold I tell you lift up your eyes and look on the fields for they white already and harvest. Tazama mimi nawaambieni nweni macho yenu mtazame mashamba yamekwisha kuwa meupe tayari kwa mavuno He that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto life eternal that both he that soweth and reapeth may rejoice together Naye avunae hapokei mshahara na kukusanya matunda kwa uzima wa milele ili yeye apandaye na yeye avune wapate kufurahi pamoja Here is the same true one soweth another reapeth kwa maana hapo neno hilo huwa kweli moja upanda akavuna mwingine I've sent you to reap when you bestow no labor other men's labor and you've ended into the labors Mimi nalo watuma mkavune yale msio yataabikia wengine walitabika nanyi mwaingia katika taabu yao Now watch what happens now Tazama kinachotendeka sasa This is very important Ili ni muhimu sana And many of the Samaritans of the city believed on him for saying for the saying of the woman which testified he told me everything I did. Na katika ule mji wa Samaria wengi walimwamini kwa sababu ya neno la yule mwanamke aliyewashuhudia kuambia aliniambia mambo yote niliyoyatenda. So when the Samaritans would come unto him they besought him that he would tarry with them and he stayed another two days. Basi wale wa Samaria walipomwendea walimsii akae kwao naye akakaa huko siku mbili and many more believe because of his own word na watu wengi zaidi wakaamini yeah. kwa sababu and ya neno lake they said to the woman now we believe not because of your saying 
wakamwambia yule mwanamke sasa tuamini wala si kwa sababu ya maneno yako tu we have heard him ourselves maana sisi tumemsikia wenyewe and know that this is indeed the christ the savior of the world na tena tunajua ya kuwa hakika huyu ndiye mwokozi wa ulimwengu hallelujah hallelujah they came first because what she said kwanza walikuja kwa sababu ya yale waliyomwambia but once they met jesus na baada ya kukutana na Yesu they would never again repeat what what she said. Hawakurudia yale yule mama alisema. They might give a testimony she introduced us. Wakatoa ushuhuda ni yeye alitutambulisha kwake. But then we met them. Lakini tumekutana na yeye. He's alive. Tumekutana na yeye. Can you say amen? Sema amina. What is Kenya need? Itaji la Kenya ni nini? What does Kenya need in the government? Ni nini itaji la Kenya katika serikali? A revelation of who Jesus is. Ufunuo wa Yesu ni nani? Because once you see Jesus. Maana punde utakapomwona Yesu. Once you have an encounter with Jesus. Uwe na kuafikiwa na kuguzwa na Yesu. Your life will never ever be the same again. Maisha yako iwezi bakia kama ilivyokuwa. What is Kenya need in the business realm? Itaji la Kenya katika ulimwengu wa biashara ni nini? A revelation of Jesus. Ufunuo wa Yesu Kristo. Because once Jesus comes, maana punde ajapo Yesu, everything changes even the way you do business. Kila kitu hubadilika hata namna ya kufanya biashara. Because let's say you in the fishing business. Sema huko katika biashara ya uvuvi unavua samaki. All night and caught nothing. Na umevu, umevua samaki usikukucha usishike hata moja. But when Jesus gets in the boat. Yesu anapoingia katika chombo chako. There's a net breaking boat sinking load of fish. Yaani inaanza kuharibika nyerefe zako kwa sababu That's what's going to happen here these two days. Hivyo ndivyo itatendeka hapa siku mbili hizi. Your whole church is going to go to another level. Your whole ministry is going to go to another level. Your business is going to go to another level. And whatever realm of government you find yourself in, you will not operate in the wisdom of man, but by the wisdom of God. That even people that come to give you information because they're supposed to know the information. Because of insight from heaven. You'll say I know that's what they're saying but that's not true. This is what the spirit of God is saying and we're not going that way we're going this way. I promise you right now. God's hands on this land and every plan that the enemy has for Kenya will fail and come to nothing. I don't care how many billions of dollars come from the outside. They will not get away in Kenya. Because they are godly people and righteous people. And they will stand and draw a line in the sand and say go. We will obey heaven. Can you say amen? Heaven in my home. Jesus in my home. Jesus in my family. Jesus in my children. Jesus in my walk. Jesus in my talk. Jesus in my lying down. Jesus in my rising up. Jesus in my going out. Jesus in my coming in. Everything. Kila kitu. Somebody said you can't have it. It's too much Jesus. No. Unasema iwezekani? Haje. We can. Inawezekana. Now, when we talk about revival because the the words have gone out about Holy Ghost and fire revival in Kenya. What what does that mean? Tunapongea juu ya ufufuo ama mwamko. Tunaongea juu ni kwa sababu habari zimeenea juu ya mkutano huu wa moto na ufufuo wa Roho Takatifu. Is revival just a meeting where we come together? J. And we call it mkutano wa mkutano wa mwamko tu tukiko tumekutana pamoja. And then we must work to make it happen. Alafu tuanze kujitabisha kufanya kazi kwa bidii ifanyike. We have to sing louder. Tuimbe kwa sauti. We have to dance harder. Tucheze sana. We have to scream, you know. Tupige kelele sana. <laughs> Is revival something we do or something he does? Je, revival ni kitu tunafanya kwa bidii yetu ilio ilionekane? So let me show you what revival is. Nataka niwaonyeshe ni nini revival mwamko ni. Revival is to revive what was once vibed. 
ufufuo ni kufufua kitu ambacho wakati mmoja kilikuwa na uhai so let's say somebody not here today but mtu akasema mahali somebody siwa. falls over mtu akasema mahali and the paramedics come alafu mtu mfulani anakuwa mahali and they can't get a pulse wanajaribu kutafuta kama moyo unapiga now unapia. that person needs to be revived sasa huyu mtu huyo ameanguka wanatafuta pigwe la moyo anahitaji kustawishwa tena afufuliwe we had a dedication of our new sanctuary in january tulikuwa na kuweka wakfu uh, moja ya majengo ya ibada zetu the very January. first week wiki ya kwanza and my head of security na yule kiongozi wa usalama fell over dead akaanguka kama kama mkufa <laughs> i didn't know who it was sikujua sana i heard it. you could hear the death rattle nilisikia hiyo kilio cha mtu anaokuwa I thought maybe it's one of our pastors or whatever. Nikaangalia moja wa wachungaji wote nikaona. And I ran down and I flipped him over. I could feel his weapon on him was his head of security. Nikakimbia nikamgeuza nikasikia ako na silaha ndio. You could hear the death rattle. Lakini ungesikia kilio cha I switched my mic off and I stuck my face by his ear. Nikazima microphone nikamwangalia macho. And I shout life in Jesus name. Na nikaanza kutongea uzima ndani yake. And wow. really live on television millions of homes you know you got somebody dying in the service now na unaweza kucheka katika television wakati mtu anakufa this is the dedication of our sanctuary great tunaweka wakfu nyumba ya ibada thank you for picking the day to die you know asante kwa kuchagua siku ya kufa ndio and so we drag him out but he we hit flat lines tukamtoa nje lakini alikuwa bado anasikia they used the defibrillator didn't work wakajaribu kumrudisha as alan had to break his sternum wakajaribu and they put him on the ambulance wakamweka kwenye ambulance no pulse no beat nothing moyo hakupiga wala chochote they rushed him through to hospital wakampeleka hospitali and they work with him wakaenda naye and then suddenly he come back ghafla akarudi and so uh, within three days they let him out of the hospital siku tatu akawa hospitali so he, he said all he heard was my voice and a voice of my past life life in jesus name that's all he heard he said i heard pastor calling i heard kile alichokisikia tu ni sauti ya mchungaji wake akisema so said, uzima uzima katika jina la Yesu. He said I'm coming back to work. I said no you're not. Akasema narudi kazini kwa ujana. I said you're rest. Ndio pumzika kwanza. No I'm coming back to work. Akasema narudi kazini. I said we took his security keys away. Tukachukua funguo zake za mali kwa kazi. I said you need to stay home you need to rest. I said you know you actually died. Unajua ulikuwa karibu kufa. So I said I want you to take a rest. Hebu nataka Sasa yuko kazini, amerudi kazini. But I had to ban him off the property because he wanted to work. I said no. Na ikabidi nimpunguze kazi zake. You will rest, you can be with your wife, your children, and when I'm when I think you're ready then you can come back. Kamwambia utaibidi ukae upumzike na mke wako na watoto na nikijua uko tayari basi nitakurejesha. Okay. So, did we revive him? Je, tulimfufua? No. We didn't have a revival. He didn't come back. Akurudi. But it was not his time. The Lord brought him back. You understand what I'm saying? Bwana akiwa kule bwana akamrejesha. In the normal setting, katika hali ya kawaida, you 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 tear the shirt open. Unafungua kifua safi. You take the defibrillator, you switch it on. Unajaribu kumrudisha. You can hear the whine of that thing. Una They take the two paddles. Unajaribu kutumia. And then they tell the living stand clear wanaambia walio hai kaeni kando the living don't stand clear they're going to be more living than they were before maana walio hai wasipojitahadhari watapata uhai mwingi kuliko vile walikuwa nao tabarani and then you hit him with Alafu. the paddles alafu wanatumia hiyo inakaa kama pasi hit him again boom piga nayo kifua and then suddenly then you got a hard beat boof there it is piga wa mshe moyo are you with me That's a revival. That's a person that's had a revival. Sasa huyo ndio mtu ambaye anapata uamsho, amepata mwamko tena. Revival for the church. Kwa hivyo revival ama mwamko kwa kanisa is coming back to your first love. Ni kurudi kwa upendo la kwanza. Oh, you might have a well but the things blocked up. Unaweza kuwa ulikuwa na kisima lakini moto has not flown in years. Maji yako haitiririki tena. The well must be unblocked. Kisima chako kinahitaji kufukuliwe. Some we said well we even had a river here at one time. Mtu anasema hata tulikuwa na kisima ama mtu wakati mmoja hapa. And then they came and they built a dam. Wakakuja wakaweka dam. They changed the whole way the river runs. Wakabadilisha mkondo wa maji. It affects everything. Na kila kitu kibadilika. I'll talk more about that this afternoon. Mmekuja na moja jioni ya leo. 
nothing like great rivers in a country ambayo ni kuu kuliko mito mikubwa mahali nimetoka the problem comes when they mess with the river shida huja wakati mto umeondolewa katika mtiriko wake in the mississippi you know the mississippi river najua kule mississippi river man builds a, a, a place on the on the banks of the mississippi watu wanajenga kando ya mto mississippi but 10 years later miaka 10 baadaye that village is 7 miles from the river unapata kijiji kile kimesukumwa mbali na mto moved on. the river went somewhere else mji uh, mto uliondoka the people there watu pale i remember nakumbuka 10 years ago when the river was here miaka 10 iliyopita mto ulikuwa hapa they were quiet to sing lord naanza kusema bwana send the river back again oh god Tuma we pray tena, did you bring some old lady who been there for many years Analete bi mama ambaye alikuwa mtanyika. I used to be on a boat on that river and we would catch fish every day. Tulikuwa na kapa ufuni wa bahari na tumefuna sana tumzamaki sana. Anyway, they cry. Oh, Wanalia. Bring back those days. Rudishie nyakati hizo. Just move seven miles and you'll be there. Imeondoka the river moves. You, you have to move. You have to move. You have to move. Mwanaibidi murudi sasa. Turudi. You have to move. Rudi. You have to move. Irudi tena. It's life. Niuzima. It's not stagnant. Right. If it's stagnant, Aijakoma. it gets it, it swamp. It gets mosquitoes. It's a kidibi ambayo itakuwa na It's stagnant water. Na mbu, maji ambayo yamesimama. When Jesus comes, there's living water. Yes. It's alive. There's a vibrancy to it. Yesu akija ni maji yaliyo hai ambayo yanatibuka. That's why it's great when the rains come. Yamaana mvua isikie. And then the river begins to flow. Mito yaanza kuchuruzika tena. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Asante Bwana Yesu. Shapuranangali ste turadaya. Yakaya la Bwana. Rupa andandere di ste kepoya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for the mighty river. Asante Mungu. Tukushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mito mikuu. Yeah, yeah, but we we'll get to that this afternoon. Tutafika hapo tutaingia kwa hiyo mito. I was so happy when we arrived in Eldoret yesterday. Jana tulipokuwa Eldoret nilifurahia sana. It was raining. There was water everywhere. Kulikuwa kuna nyesha maji yalikuwa mahali. The water was mahali. running on the side. Maji yatirika kando ya barabara. And people were worried of it rains maybe we can't do the meeting. Watu wanashangaa na saibu lao tutafanya mikutano. The rain. I'm standing in the rain. Nikawaambia tasimama kwa mvua nitaupi. I love the rain. Thank God for the water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought come on. Kenyans will come to listen in the Sama, rain. Ah, Kenya labda watu wakuja kusikiliza kwa mvua. Maybe they won't. Love the hot away. I get much response there. When you hungry, you come in the rain. Ukiwa na njaa utatoka ukuje. Or have you become too sophisticated? You can't get wet anymore. Atiwezi kunyeshewa tena. Mm. I'm just asking. Nauliza swali tu. Africans Africa are happy people. Wa Africa ni watu wenye furaha. Some said no, we we very quiet, we very stoic. Ni watu wakamnyamavu sana. I don't see that when Kenya plays soccer. Si waoni Kenya wanapocheza kandanda. I don't see that when Kenya's runners win the gold. Siwaoni Kenya wanapokimbia riadha na kushinda dhahabu. The only place I see that is in church. Ninawaona tu kanisani. Where did you get that from? Hiyo ulipata wapi? Who told you that's how you're supposed to be? Nani alikwambia hivyo ndivyo inapaswa kuwa? Who told you? Uliambiwa hiyo na nani? Yeah, it looks like something's happening over this side here. Kama kuna kitu kinafanyika mahali. I don't know where they're from but there's something happening. Sijia wametoka wapi kuna kitu kinafanyika pale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I I don't know where these people are from but I think they're from Kenya. Sijia wametoka wapi? Biblia hivyo ndivyo mtaona nikiingia Kenya. But when I look certain other places I don't see that. Like
Kini ni kiangalia huku ghafla si waoni. So I'm not sure if I should be here or there. Sasa sijui niwe hapa ama pale. Oh, there you are. There you are. I see you now. Naona Kenya sasa. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Bwana. Living water. Maji yaliyo hai. Living water flows. Inatiririka. It, there's a sound to it. You can hear it when you stand by the streams when you hear the water. <laughs> As the water is coming by. Yaliyo haya inapotiririka unasikia sauti inapotiririka. It's alive. Iko na uhai. And there's enough water supply under this tent. Na maji yapo kwa utele. Na isikia nguvu ya Mungu. I might run the outer track. Oh. <laughs> I always wanted to run my, I might just take off and Take around the track here. Because I used to do that years ago. I know I'll get 200 meters down and go, What are you doing? Hallelujah. 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 Living water. Living water. Living water. Living water. Now, where is this living water? Sasa, tunuko maali ya bapu napasa kuwa na maji. If you born again, it's inside you. Kama wewe umeoko. Kama mezaleo marapili. Kwa furaha. Pea yale maji. Kwa furaha. Pea yale maji. Out of the world. Ni furaha. Of salvation. Kutoka ndani mwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What happened this morning? The power of the Lord came upon me. Even right now. There are things that have died in me. I felt a hand. A hand touch my, my, my womb. Iliguza. And that hand removed something from within me. I feel weak. It's like things have come out of me. The fire is still burning inside. When you come near, even I feel like. All right, she's okay. Just put her in the chair. She's fine. She's just drinking of the new wine. There's much new wine here. She's fine. She's fine. Don't worry about it. She's fine. You know, for every person that gets touched, you don't need seven helpers. If people get touched, leave them. You don't have to nothing. Just leave them alone. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Revival. This is revival. This is what revival starts happening. People being revived. People coming back. 
People coming back to life. People coming back to the joy of their salvation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People that have been thirsty for a long time haven't had a drink. Suddenly they're having a drink. Oh, the water is so good. It's so good. It's so good. good. (laughs) 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 Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. It's good news. It's good news. Good news makes you happy. Good news makes you happy. Wherever Jesus went, they've been walking and leaping and praising God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can receive it now. You don't have to wait till this afternoon. You can grab a hold of it now. He will touch you right where you are. I command every world that's been blocked up to be unblocked now in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wells are unblocking right now. Those people that used to flow in the gifts of the Spirit, you stopped. These people that used to move in the power of God, but you stopped. Because of persecution. But today God is restoring you. Today God is renewing you. Your ministry will be stronger than before. The people that used to pray for the sick, but you stopped praying for the sick. The people that used to cast out devils, you stopped casting out devils. But you cast out devils again. Revival. 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 It's sweeping this field. It's sweeping this field. It's sweeping this field. When it happens, you'll never be quiet again. People will tell you to be quiet and you say, I can't. I'm going to shout it from the mountaintops. I'm going to shout it from the rooftops. Everyone's going to know about Jesus. I'm going to be on fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sante Bwana Yesu. Thank you, Lord. Sante Bwana. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Bwana Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. Flood this field. Flood this field. Katika wanya u ufurike. Flood this field. Furika. Lord, we only got two days. Lord, we only have two days. Flood this field. That from this place, living water will go to the far flung corners of this land. On every street. In every office building. In every government house. Everywhere. Everywhere. Kila mali. Everywhere. Kila mali. Everywhere. 
It's not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit. There are many right now that are being delivered and set free and God is touching you. There's people that came with the heavy burdens. He's lifting the burdens. People came with depression. You're leaving your chains by the Spirit of God. Fill them, Lord, with your joy. Fill them with your joy. Fill them to overflowing. Anoint the head with oil. Let the cup run over. Fill them with your joy. The power of God's falling all over this field. God is touching people here today. In a powerful way. Yeah. 
Zige da ba ya da ba da bo. Zige de ba ya da ba da ba da ga bo. I want to give an invitation right now. I want to give a call right now to every person. I want you to look inside your own heart. Because I'm, I can't do that. I want you to look inside your own heart. To help us, the monitors, please. Standing here today to are individuals yeah, binafsi, who have given your life to the Lord in days gone by. But you've grown cold. Your well got blocked up. Storms of life came. Storms of life came. Mawimbi katika maisha yako. And blocked up that water. Ilileta mchanga na ikafunika maji ya churiziki tena. You lost your joy. Umepoteza furaha yako. There was a time when you were on fire for God. Kuna wakati ulikuwa na moto kwa mungu. And especially even the last four years. Na imepotea sasa hata karibu miaka mine. There were many storms that came. Mambo mengi ya me kwama ya endelei. Maybe you went through a divorce. Ulabda umepitia talaka. Maybe you lost a loved one. Ukapoteza mpendwa wako. Maybe you lost a job. Ukapoteza kazi. A close friend. Rafiki wa karibu. Something happened. Kitu kikafanyika. A sudden illness. Something that came out of the blue, out of nowhere. Kitu tuki likuvamia kutoka kokote. You were doing well and then suddenly it stopped. Ulikuwa nendelea vizuri lakini gafla tu mambo ya mearibika. But today is your day. Leo ni siku yako. Today is a new day for you. Hii ni siku yako mpia leo. Today on this 12th day. Leo ikiwa siku ya kwanza. Of the month of September. Katika mwezi huu wa September. Inaweza ndiyo iwe siku ya mageuzi katika maisha yako. Na maisha yako ikageuka kabiso siangalia nyuma tena. Maybe there are people here that maybe you've never given your heart to Jesus. Labda uko hapa na uja wae mpatia Yesu na fasi katika maisha yako. You've gone to church but you've never personally said Jesus be my Lord and Savior. Ni kweli umeenda kanisani lakini hakuna siku moja unakumbuka kumambia Yesu uwe mwokozi wa maisha yangu. But today he calls you. Ila leo anakuita. What would happen if today was your last day on the earth? Ingekuwa ma leo ndiyo siku ya ndiyo siku ya kuishi kuishi duniani. Home, put home, put your head on your pillow. Ungeenda nyumbani, ungefanyi kaje. And you never woke up again. Ukalala na usiamke tena. Where would you go? Where would you spend it? Umilele wako utautumia wapi? Today, today is about surrendering of your heart. Leo ni siku uipeane upia roho yako, nafsi yako. In the book of Revelation, he talks about three temperatures of our hearts. Katika kitabu cha ufunuo, anaongea juu ya hali dojoto tatu. We either hot, lukewarm or cold. Anasema tuwe moto, si fugufugu na si baridi. If we gauge hot as being ten. Kiwa kama tutakuwa mwa moto. And cold as being zero. Kama moto ni kuwa kumi na kuwa baridi ni kuwa sufuri. And you say, well, I'm not. Ten, but I'm probably about six or seven. Na ukasema mimi ni komoto lakini moto yangu si kumi lakini kusita amasaba. You're saying I'm lukewarm. That's what you're saying. 
Unasema basi mimi ni fukufuku. God just don't want you lukewarm. God wants you at ten. He Mungu wants you on fire. Mungu uwe fukufuku, anataka uwe moto kwa kumi. And today is about surrender. Na leo ni siku hiyo ujiachilie. Ujia so right across this field. Kama ni wewe basi piga mbio uje hapa. Maybe you even here and you say I love Jesus but I'm not sure. I do not know beyond the shadow of a doubt that I'm a child of God and I want to make sure. Na labda katika maisha yako una uhakika kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. Na leo hii unataka kuondoa shaka hiyo uwe mwana wa Mungu. If this is you and you fit into any one of these categories. Kama hiyo ndiyo wewe unatoshea katika moja yapo ya mialiko hiyo mita, I want to pray for you right now. Nataka ni kuombee wewe sasa. I want you to quickly come stand right now. Naomba wewe uje mbele mbio sana. Come from where you are and come stand right. Utoka popote ulipotembea mwendo wa haraka. Come. Kuja mbio. Come now. John John John. Jesus is calling you. Kuja mwendo mbio. Jesus is calling you. Ni wewe Yesu anaita. Come right now. Ni wewe Yesu anaita. Come right now. Come right in. Come. John John John. Come today is the day. Leo ni siku yako. Just come now, come now, come now, come now. Joe, Joe, Sasa, Joe. He's calling you. Yes, one of Quita. There's others the Spirit of God is speaking to you. You might never have another opportunity. Today is your day of freedom. Today he's calling you in from the life of self and sin. Today you're coming in from the cold. You're not going to leave this field the same way you came. There's many others sitting there right now. Move out of your seat. Come. Quickly. He's calling now. Anaitana sasa. He's calling now. Anakuita. He's calling now. Yesu anakuita. You might even be a minister. Unaweza kuwa ni mhubiri. But you've not been serving God like you should. Na lakini umtumikii Mungu unavyopaswa. But you feel heaven pulling you come. Na unasikia mbingu ya kuita. Today is your day of revival. Today you are revival. You come again, you come again. Joe tena. Come now. Huja. He calls you come. Anakuita njo. I said you can bring more this side. I said society want to what happened to you guys. Come now. To sawazisha madabao what to do. Kuja kutoka kila mahali ulipo. Never more. Yes, wana kuita njo. Jesus is calling. Yes, when I quit that job. He's calling you. Today his blood will wash you clean. Anataka kuosha safi kabisa. Today you will become a new. Leo utafanyika mpya. Come now. Jo. I feel in my spirit there's more. more. The spirit of God is calling. The spirit of God is calling. He says, come. He says, come. He calls you now. Get up from where you are. Come now. Mantele brife sopra pacata sadore Kina na retari tararato Horana na ratile asora da Mira na rando da la rise Come on Kenya Kenya is calling you Anakuita You watch him by way of television 
He is calling you right now. seats to be seated if you would please you may be seated out in your seats you may be naweza kuwa kuna wale mko kule nyuma unaweza ukaketi kama unaweza kuketi i still feel the lord is calling several more ila ninahisi bado kuna watu wengi kule bwana anawaita if your heart is racing right now you can feel god just touching you right now sasa hivi unasikia bwana anakuguza quickly get up and come arakisha kuja mbele kabla tujaomba ni wewe tunasubiri why must i come down publicly maana takaposhuka because jesus died publicly come na wewe shuka hadharani hapa waziwazi yesu alikufa hadharani quickly Joe. get up from your seat and come jo inuka kwa kiti chako uje come now come jo sing it again jo haraka jo tembea uje there's more there's more there's more nyumba Naomba hawa wote tuliosimama hapa mbele nitazame. You know this is a highlight of my whole life right now. Hii ni jambo ambalo nataka nikuuzisha ya maisha yangu yote. This is why we came to Kenya. Hii ndio kwa sababu nimekuja Kenya. We come to Kenya for your money. Atuja kuja Kenya kwa ajili ya fedha zenu. I paid for everything. We paid for everything. Nimelipia kila kitu. We came for you. Tumekuja kwa ajili yako. Now you say well pastor you you've never seen me. Unasema lakini pastor hujawahi niona. No but I prayed for you. Lakini nimekuombea. I've cried out many nights for you and for you to come here today. Usiku nyingi nimelia ili wewe upatikane. And today is a day of transformation. Na leo ni siku yako ya mageuzi. Nothing may be on the outside but it'll happen on the inside. Labda kwa nje utaona kitu sasa lakini ndani utabadilika. Labda vile unajiona leo. You know. Unajua? You will never be the same. Hautabaki hivyo tena. That you've been changed. Umebadilishwa. That Jesus is now living on the inside. Yesu sasa anakaa ndani mwako. Not religion. Sio dini. Jesus. Yesu. The Jesus that walked the shores of Galilee. Yesu aliyetembea mitaa ya Galilaya. He's going to live permanently in your heart. Atakaa milele ndani yako. And then he's going to use you. Naye atakutumia. 
Standing here are mighty men and women of God. Somebody said, no, I'm not like, yes, you are. You, you, you're going to use of God. Today, the devil's plan of your life is totally canceled. Leo mpango aliyokuwa nao shetani wa maisha yako imeharibiwa yote. All right, all right. I understand. I understand. I understand. She's excited. That's fine. Elewa. <laughs> I'm going to pray one prayer. Naenda kuomba ombi moja tu. One prayer fits all. Maombi moja ya yote. So if you come maybe the first time you give your life to the Lord or you come to recommit your life, it doesn't matter. It's the same. Umekuja kwa mara ya kwanza umpatie Yesu maisha yako ama umekuja kumrudia Yesu yote ni moja. And I've had the privilege now of doing this in 89 countries. Na nimepata fursa ya kufanya hivi mataifa 89. For 43 years. Kwa miaka 43. And everywhere I go people come to me say it was at an altar they tell me. Watu kila mahali naenda wanaambia ilifanyika pale kwa madhabahu. I gave my life to Jesus. Sema wakati nilimpatia Yesu maisha yangu. Today I'm in government, today I'm a businessman, today I'm a pastor, I'm many things. Many, many. Leo ni nafanya kazi kwa serikali, nafanya biashara, leo mimi ni mhubiri. And this is not only a field of champions. Na hiyo sio tu uwanja wa washindi wachache. But this is a field of miracles. Ila ni uwanja wa miujiza nyingi. Because standing here are many miracles today. Wamesimama hapa hawa ni miujiza nyingi tu. And everybody's going to hear your testimony. Kila mtu wengine yale wengine 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 yale Yesu amefanya. Can you say amen? Sema amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This young man here with your hands like that. Huyu kijana amefunga mikono njoo. Where are you from? Natoka wapi? From Bus where? From Busia. What do you do? You Ni just a cleaner. A cleaner. God is going to use you. How old are you? Na miaka ngapi bwana atakutumia? You 27. God's going to use you to be a mighty man of God to speak his word. Bwana atakutumia utanena mambo makubwa. I see it on you. I see it on you. Na iona juu yako. Don't worry about the microphone. Look at me. Niangalie. Listen to me. Every attack against your life is broken. From this day. And God's going to use you. And the Holy Spirit is going to carry you. Amen. Amen. And you know, you're going to go clean up many places. <laughs> For the kingdom of God. Amen. Fire! From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. You'll never be the same again. Amen. In Jesus name. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Now, somebody said, what about me? I'll get to you now. I'll get to you now. Relax. Relax. We'll get to you. We're going to pray one prayer. If you've been busy with God, God means busy with you. And it is no different than if I could look each one in the eye and tell you that the Lord is talking to you. Nikiangalia kila moja kwa macho hakuna tofauti naweza kuambia Mungu anakuongelea. Anaongea na wewe. If you been busy with him, he means busy with you. Kama amekuwa umekuwa kimaanisha na Mungu naye anamaanisha na wewe. God's going to use you. Mungu anaenda kukutumia. Today every chain is going to be broken. Kila mnyororo leo inavunjika. Every yoke is going to be destroyed. Kila nira yavunjika. Listen, even if somebody did witchcraft against you, hata kama mtu alikuroga, it will be broken. Itavunjwa vunjwa. And it will go back to the one that sent it. Na itarudi kwa yeye alie kutumia uchawi huu. Because we're going to send a return to sender. Maana tunayandika na kuirudisha kwa maali litoka. The devils are not going to be happy after this morning. Mashetani na mapepo hata fraia tena tangu sasa. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray. Enda kuomba sasa. I want you to close your eyes. Ufunge macho yako. And lift your right hand to heaven. That's where your help comes from. Inua mkono wako wakume juu ule mungine weka kifuani. And pray this prayer after me. Omba ombi hili nyuma ya mubiri. Believe it in your heart. Na ukimaanisha moyo wako. Say with your mouth. Na useme kwa moyo wako kwa kinywa chako. Say Father, I come to you. Sema Baba, naja kwako. In the precious name of your son Jesus. Kwa jina la dhamana la mwanao Yesu Kristo. Lord, you said in your word Bwana ulisema katika neno lako. If I confess with my mouth 
Kama nitakiri kwa kinywa changu. Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Kwamba Yesu ni mwokozi wangu na bwana wangu. And I believe in my heart. Na niamini moyoni mwangu that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Kwamba bwana alimfufua Yesu kutoka kwa wafu. I will be saved. Nitaokoka. So Father right now. Kwa hivyo baba sasa. I confess. Ninakiri. Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Yesu ni bwana wangu na mwokozi wangu. Come into my heart right now. Ingia ndani ya moyo wangu sasa. Take out the stony heart. Niondole moyo wa jiwe. Put in a heart of flesh. Nipe moyo wa nyama. Wash me. Nioshe. Change me. Nibadilishe. Fill me. Nijaze. Use me. Nitumie. Let me never be the same again. Bwana nisibaki kama nilivyokuwa tena. Thank you for dying for me. Asante kwa kunifia. Thank you for shedding your blood for me. Asante kwa kuimwaga damu yako kwa ajili yangu. Thank you that on the third day you rose from the dead for me. Asante kwa sababu siku ya tatu ulifufuka kwa ajili yangu. And thank you that you're coming back again for me. From this, on, from this day on, I'll what? never be the same again. I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is in my heart. And I now have living water. Now lift your hands and thank him for that living water. Thank you for the living water. Thank you for the living water. Now, Lord, I pray, would you fill them with joy? Baba nimeomba wajaze kwa furaha. Fill them with that joy. Wajaze kwa hiyo furaha. Fill them with that joy in their belly, Lord. Wajaze kwa furaha ndani ya ukumbi huu. Bubble up like a river like. Bwana waanze kunena mito ichiruzike ndani mwao. Fill the Kenyans with the joy. Wajaze na furaha yako. Fill them with your joy, Lord. Wajaze wa Kenya na furaha. Fill them with your joy. Wajaze kwa furaha. Fill them with that joy. Fill them with the joy. Joy, 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 joy. Furaha, furaha, furaha ya Bwana. Joy, 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 joy. Furaha, furaha. Fill them no overflowing. What jazz and a fra? Shoprata. Fill them to overflowing. What jazz and a fra? What jazz? Joy. What jazz? Joy. Joy unspeakable. What jazz? Joy unspeakable. Fra is your essence. Baptize them in the Holy Ghost. Wajaze wa batise kwa moto wa roho. You're speaking out the tongues right Wanene now. Wanene kwa lugha nyingine. As you receive power. Wapoke nguvu. Radana makuso provondeli sapa. Wapoke nguvu. Randa tori bo sapari dasa. Living water. Maji living, ya living, 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 Maji living. Maji ya Living water, living water, Maji living water. Maji ya liwai. Robo no basata. Sikadaga baga. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. Thank you, Lord. Sante Bwana. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Mighty evangelist. Wangelisti wakubwa. Mighty evangelist. Wangelisti wakubwa. Will rise up. Uamsho. Out of this group. Shiradaba. Mighty pastors and leaders. Wachungaji wakubwa. Mighty businessmen and women. Wafanye biashara wakubwa. Mighty in the governmental realm. Watenda kazi katika serikali wakubwa. Anointed by you. Wamepakwa na wewe. Raised up. From obscurity. No one knew who they were. But you raised them up. For your glory. Thank you.
Sante. Bless them. Wabariki. Bless them. Wabariki. Bless them. Wabariki bwana. I bless you. Bariki bwana. I bless you. I bless you. I bless every one of you. I bless you and bless you some more. I bless you again. I bless you some more. I bless you. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Now, you might look at me and you say, but pastor, I, I, I need many things. I need job, I need house, I need car, I need money. I... But don't worry about those things. You got Jesus. Yes. He will help you. So what, what Jesus is wanting to do now. He's saying, will you let me use you? Will you allow me to use you? Can I live big on the inside of you? Will you give me your hands? Will you give me your mouth? Can I use your feet? You will walk my path now. And you'll go everywhere. And you'll tell people about Jesus. How wonderful he is. How awesome he is. I'm so excited that I could come and stand here to tell you how wonderful Jesus is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you feel you can feel something gone off, lifted off of you? You feel like the Lord's touched you. You feel something happening. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Everything that happens in the church, I know we use all modern forms of advertising and all that kind of stuff. But you see, my ministry started before the internet. Before the internet was, I was. And, and we had thousands of people come to the meeting. There was no internet. There was no Facebook. No there was no phones. We had no cell phones. There was no texting people, tweeting, Facebook, texting. Everything is word of mouth. The power of your testimony in your mouth. Okay, because you take the woman at the well. She heard her testimony. They went. They heard him. And then they didn't need her testimony anymore. They had their own testimony. So from this day, you're going to go tell everybody about Jesus. Now, I want everybody to stand, if you would please. Everybody stand. Because, uh, and you'll understand more this afternoon and then tomorrow. Because this is just the start. Amen. The Holy Ghost has got a protocol. This is, this, is just, this is just the start. How many here would promise and tell Jesus today, tell the Lord, from this day until the time you come to take me home, every day, I'm going to find one other person just one other person that I can tell about you. Who can promise that you will do that? Now, you do not know what this means. I'm just telling you. You see, I've studied crusade evangelism. Many of my best friends were the greatest evangelists in the world. 
marafiki zangu wengi ni evangelists wakubwa katika dunia and i watched every model of evangelism na ninaangalia kila mfumo wa uinjilisti and i realized that all of those models na nikagundua mifumo hiyo yote were based were based yote imejengwa kwa on one man going to a city mtu mmoja anaenda mjini packing a stadium anajaza uwanja and giving a call na anapatia watu mwaliko but those meetings are few and far between na hiyo mikutano unapata imejaa ndio katikati na mpaka mwisho and there's some countries that they have never had nobody's been there na kuna mataifa mengine duniani hayajawahi kuwa na mtu katika and the lord spoke to me bwana kaniambia he said the power of the church is sitting in the pew kaniambia nguvu ya kanisa imebaki tu katika nyumba ya mtu every believer to tell people about jesus sasa kaniambia nataka kila muumini ajazwe nguvu amwambie mwingine kuhusu yesu now I'm not I'm not sure than the total numbers I know there's probably over 8000 here maybe not 9000 today here Sijui ni watu wangapi wako hapa I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing Sina hakika ya namba lakini naona kama watu 1890 But let's just say that 7000 people here raise their hand Hebu tuseme tuko mfano watu 1700 about Jesus every day Sasa hao watu 1700 Until he comes to take me home Kila mtu anamwambia mtu mmoja Yesu mpaka If you, if you look at one here is 2.5 million people that were here about Jesus. Ina maana kwamba basi katika miaka mingine mitano ni watu milioni mbili watakuwa wapata habari za If you tell four that's 20 million people. Ukiambia watu wengine hiyo ni milioni 20. I'm not stupid. The compound interest of you telling mimi najaribu kuangalia faida ya wewe kumwambia mwingine. Is more powerful than me trying to fill every stadium in, the, in, in Kenya. Wewe kumwambia mtu mwingine ina faida kuliko mimi kuzunguka Kenya kuubi. So I've come here to mobilize every one of you. Kwa hivyo mimi nimekuja nichochee kila mmoja wenu. Maybe some of you only tell one person a week, but that's still better than nothing. Na hata kama utamwambia mtu mmoja kwa wiki moja, hiyo bado ni bora zaidi ya kutokusema. But I know what's going to happen. Na ninajua itafanyika. You're going to catch so much fire utaenda kushikishwa moto mwingi na utafanya hiyo kazi and there will be many mighty soul winners tambia watu wengi wengi na kutakuwa wengi na wa Kenya wote watakuwa wameongoka in 47 counties katika magatusi ya 47 villages are going to get saved wale ambao wameokoka na wameamini Yesu and people going to find out about Jesus watu wataenda kujua mengi kumhusu Yesu and they say who are you sema wewe ni nani i'm nothing But Jesus called me. And I've come to tell you. How much he loves you. Can you say amen? Kenya? 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 Kenya. Kenya. Do you know how much he loves you? Je, wajua anakupenda kiasi gani? Kenya. Kenya. Do you know how much Jesus loves you? Je, unafahamu Yesu anakupenda jinsi gani? He loves you anakupenda sana too much Yesu anakupenda upendo mkubwa mno So what I want to do I've got some tools that I want to give to you Sasa na kuna in English and Swahili kwa kizungu na Kiswahili But we also have them on our website in over 50 languages. Na pia tuko nayo katika mtandao zaidi ya lugha ya Chinese and Japanese and Korean and Tuko nazo kwa lugha hizo zote Korea and Zulu many other many other German Dutch French Finnish you know mengi tu. And these tools are all for free. You can go on our website and download download it for free. Unaweza enda katika mtandao wetu na ukaweza kujipatia So they copyright. They copyright but copy them right. Una copy too. Amen. So I want the ushers to come and, and give out to everybody here. Napenda ushers basi wasaidizi. If you come, then I'm going to show you how, you how to use it. Atakuonyesha jinsi ya kutumia. He's holding this up. This is what they look like. Ushers. Linakaa hivyo unaona? Ushers. Ushers. If you can grab a hold of these and pass them out to everybody. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, you're going to use it today. Listen, you're going to use it today. Even on your way home today, you're going to use Ata it. Hata nyumbani kwako leo. It will work. Itafanya kazi. Because it, it's, it's what it does. If you use it, it'll work. If you don't, 
You want to understand what I'm talking about? So if the ushers can hand them out to everybody, everybody even in your seats, and then you can be seated again. How many promise you're going to tell one person about Jesus? I mean, you go to the barber, you go to the to get your hair done. You go to the dentist, you go to the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. You get your car fixed, whatever. You get on the taxi, you get in a bus. You're going to tell somebody. The homeless person on the street. Everyone, tell everybody. You say why? Because the only thing you can take with you when you leave the earth is people. Maana kwa nini? Kwa sababu chochote utakachotoka chato duniani you, you ni watu tu utaenda na wao. Kuna kitu kingine Hautabeba kitu kingine ni watu tu. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody say souls. Kila mtu sema nafsi. Everybody say the harvest. Mtu sema mavuno. So over the years we get mocked by other preachers. And they say, well, did the people come to the altar? I said, listen. You obviously don't read your Bible much. Many people. Were saved. There was no altar. It was on the street. The thief hanging on the cross got saved. You know, it's, you don't have to put it into your protocol to get people saved. It's, it's depending on who carries the water. If you have a bucket with no water, nobody's going to get saved. But if you're carrying living water, you, ha you have what's real. You have what's real. And what you've received right now is real. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, Sasa. Let's, uh, let's do the training. I'm going to train you. I'm going to activate you now. Now, somebody said, well, what if I want to pray for the sick? You can pray for the sick. But first get people saved. First thing, salvation. Then healing. Then, then deliverance. Amen. Amen. And maybe you have to go deliverance first, then salvation. And maybe if somebody doesn't want to get saved, then you get them healed first. You know, the Lord will tell you what to do. But this will work. And we're sitting now with 45 million people saved worldwide using this method. 45 million. And the Lord said to me, it's not by the efforts of one but by the combined efforts of many because you're going to reach people I cannot reach you're going to go to places I'll never go and God's going to use you in a powerful way you say why? because I trust the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost will carry you if you pray he will show you what to do can you say amen? Pastor Hallelujah if you didn't get one, raise your hand. And my friend back here that I spoke to to help me, you can come up now. The one that I talked to. We do have these in Swahili. In if you only speak Swahili, you can raise your hand. We have them in Swahili. If you need a Swahili gospel script, raise your hand. And the ushers will come. Just Swahili, raise your hand. And then, okay, and if you didn't get one in English, raise your hand. Hallelujah. Well, they're coming to you right now. As the, you keep your hand up, they'll come to you. I'll start. This, gosp, this method is called power evangelism. Because of Acts 1 8. 
You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost comes upon you. And you shall be witnesses. That's what this mobilization is about. So when you open your mouth, the gospel, and share the gospel, the power of God's going to show up. A couple more scriptures. Romans 1.16 For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation everyone. Another one, 2 Timothy 1.7 The Lord's not giving me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So the whole reason it works is because you're saved, you're on fire, and when you share this little card, it has the gospel, it has scriptures in it. And God's looking for to get people saved, not to send people to hell. Amen. He's not willing that any should perish, but all come to the saving knowledge. So, I'm going to use my friend that I just met, Joshua. Now, we're, we're going to do a role play. And, and we're going to pretend like we work together in your workplace, wherever you're at. And Joshua and I, and I'm going to get him a mic up here, are in the internet business. Who believes we need good internet business in Africa? Okay. Right. We're in the internet business. And I go to church and uh, he works with me and I'm thinking man, I need to get him saved I really need to get him saved so I say on the lunch break come have lunch with me and we're friends at work and then all you do is read this card so let's do that just take your card out and we're going to start at the top and this is what you do outside the church. You can even do this on your cell phone by calling somebody. And watch what God will do. Okay, so let's do this. So we, we work together. Hey Joshua, has anyone ever told you that God loves you and he has a great plan for your life? Very good to see you. Actually, uh, yeah, I've had a lot of Okay, great. I have a real quick but important question to ask you. If you died this very second, do you know for sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you'd go to heaven? Uh, I would like to think so, but I'm, I'm not very sure. Okay, great. If you look at your card, Many times people will say, yeah, I'm not sure like this. Why would you say yes? Why do you think so? I feel like I'm generally a good person. I do good things. I, mean, I, I give to the poor. I go to church. I, I mean, my attendance is right up there. Yeah, oh, he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number one answer in the world that people think they're going to heaven is because they're a good person. Yeah. Some people say, I help old ladies across the street. <laughs> Some people say, I pay for all the drinks in the bar every <laughs> night. I'm a good person. <laughs> Sometimes people say it's because I believe in God. But the devil believes in God and he's not going to heaven. So unless they say, I'm saved, I'm born again, I have Jesus in my heart, something like that. You just keep going, okay? So Joshua said, yeah, he's a good person, he helps people. So let's keep going, okay? I, I just want to say one other thing. If he said, I'm an atheist, the gospel is still the power of God for an atheist. Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's keep reading. Let me quickly share with you what the Holy Bible reads. It reads, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the Bible also reads that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you're a whosoever, Joshua, of course you are. Yeyoete ambaya takubali na kumitikia Kristo Yesu katika maisha yake. Maniko inasema ya kuamba basi yeye atakuja kwa nuru na atakuwa mtoto wa Mungu na kwa hivyo Joshua swali ambalo unaulizwa siku ya leo ni ya kwamba 
basi ukubali kwa sababu hapo ndipo ambapo utaokoka na kukubali Yesu kama mokozi wa maisha yako. Now those are three scriptures in the Bible that's the gospel. Hivyo basi hayo ni maandiko matatu katika Biblia. When it gets really cold and you breathe out you can see your breath, right? Ha. <laughs> he agrees. When it's cold and you exhale you see your breath. Basi ukukiwa na baridi na unapumua unaona ya kwamba basi kuna ile kama inafanyika katika It look like Joshua was just like eh what? Inakaanika kwamba Joshua anakaa tu But if you could see in the spirit God is put penetrating his heart he's talking to his heart. Lakini kama ungeruhusiwa kuona moyo wake wakati unamsomea karatasi hiki basi Mungu anamuongelesha katika moyo wake. Then turn your card over. Haya unaigeuza basi. And on the back it says I'm going to say a quick prayer for you. Na pale nyuma inamwambia kwamba basi sasa nitakuombea ombi fupi. Who believes prayer is good and it works? Nani anaamini ya kwamba maombi ni mazuri na yanafanya kazi? Here we go. Just read. Let's read it. Haya Joshua Joshua, I'm going to say a quick prayer for you. Sasa nitakuombea kwa ufupi Joshua. Lord bless Joshua and his family with a long and healthy life. Bwana Mungu mbariki Joshua na familia yake yote na maisha mazuri. Jesus make yourself real to him. Wabariki na maisha marefu yenye afya. And do a quick work in his heart. Jiweke hali ya maisha ni make fanya kazi ndani ya moyo wake. Joshua has never received Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Kwa Joshua hajawahi mpokea Kristo Yesu kama bwana na mwokozi wake. I'll pray he'll do so now. Naomba basi atampokea hivi sasa. Who believes God can answer a prayer? Nani anaamini kwamba Mungu anaweza akajibu ombi? I just prayed God would do a quick work and Joshua would get saved. Naomba kwamba Joshua Mungu amfanyie kazi. Now it's his choice. Sasa ni kauli lake. So let's read keep going. Haya tuendelee. Joshua. Joshua. If you would like to receive the free gift that God has for you. Ikiwa ungependa kupokea zawadi ambayo Mungu anayo kwako. Today say this with your heart and your lips out loud. Basi leo sema hii kwa moyo wako na kwa mdomo wako. Say dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Sema Bwana Yesu. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Njoo katika moyo wangu. Forgive me of my sin. Sameh dhambi zangu. Wash me and cleanse me. Kase na unioshe. Set me free. Na uniweke huru. Jesus. Yesu. Thank you that you died for me. Asante kwa sababu nilikufia. And I believe that you're risen from the dead. Kwa sababu umefufuka juu yangu. And that you're coming back again for me. Kwamba unarudi tena unichukue. Fill me. Yaze. with the holy spirit the holy spirit. spirit give me a passion for the lost give me a, passion for the lost. a hunger, for the, hunger for the things of god and a holy boldness to preach the gospel of jesus christ i am saved i am born again i'm forgiven and i'm on my way to heaven because i have jesus in my heart That's good news. Amen. Now you basi. read the next part. Joshua. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Kama mhubiri wa injili. I tell you today all your sins are forgiven. Kwambia leo ya kwamba dhambi zako zote zimekuwa. And always remember to run to God. Na ukumbuke kukimbia kwa Mungu. And not from God. Na sio mkimbie Mungu. Because he loves you. Sababu anakupenda. And he has a great plan for your life. Ana mpango mzuri kwa maisha yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Eric. Nobody ever reached out to me like You know I reached out to you because I love you man and we work together. And I want you to go to heaven. I need to do one other thing. I go to a great church. They love God with all their heart. And I want you to come this Sunday as my personal guest. I would like to introduce you to the pastor and some of the others. And I want you to bring your family. I believe God's doing a great work in you. And the Lord put you on my heart. And come one time We'll see what the Lord does. Would you come this Sunday? Can you shake my hand? Now, I know you're a man of your word. You look sharp. You're definitely coming, right? I'm gonna come, I'm gonna show okay, I'm going to tell my pastor you're coming. You're coming. You have my number. You can call me on Sunday morning. So you know we've seen many churches double and triple like this. Yeah, and there's ways of doing this. So even from your business, I want to say how many people are in business here? All the business men. Okay. If you make your business about the kingdom, you watch how your business explodes. Don't make your business about money. Obviously, you need money, but don't make it about money. Make it about people. You are fed that too. The Lakini same with your ministry. Don't make it about money. Make it about people. It's about people. Ni juu ya watu. If you make it about people and about Jesus, you'll never lack. I promise you. I don't care where you live. It's got, it's got nothing to do with the economy because the Lord has blessed me exceedingly. And you say, well, because you live in America. 
And that can't be true because I'm helping so many people in America that ministers that can't make it, so I'm helping them, so it doesn't work. It's not about where you live, it's about who lives in you. When Jesus lives in you, he'll raise you up, no matter where. So it's got nothing to do with the economy, where you live, nothing. It's got nothing to do with how much money you have, you don't have, your education, I must get more degrees, you can get so many degrees. You look like a thermometer, it doesn't help. Are you with me? You get so many degrees, you die by degree. I've, I've met people with every kind of degree, PhD and whatever, and they're useless. They're useless. They're useless. Because their head, they got the, their head is so big they can't come through the doorway. But their heart is like tiny, like very small. Their head is big. God wants to give you a big heart and fill him with himself. Can you say that? Your head is good, but not for everything. Your head is good to, to look when you cross with the traffic. Your head is good to know not to put your finger in the socket. Amen. Amen. There are certain things your head is for, but not for spiritual things. Your heart is for spiritual things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is going to use you. Mungu Somebody said, I'm not ready. You might say, I'm not ready. Ukisema, uko you are. I just made you ready right now. You just, I've, I've, I've deputized all of you. And And if anybody questions from now, say, by whose authority do you come here? Say, Pastor Rodney gave me the authority and he told me to use the name of Jesus. And then they can call me in America and say, you cause trouble for us now. Amen. 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 Anybody say souls. Now let me, I want to give you just a few illustrations that I might let you break. We break to 2 o'clock and then I'm going to start at 2 o'clock. My band will be up here. I'm starting at 2 o'clock. Sharp, sharp. Not 5 past 2, not 10 past 2. 2 o'clock I'm here. And I'm starting for the, for the next wave because we're going to talk about the river this afternoon. We talked about the well, but we're going to talk about a river. But I want to, I want to tell you uh, three quick testimonies. One of the things that the Lord spoke to me about across America, we evangelize prisons. We evangelize, I mean, hospitals, mental institutions. It doesn't matter. If there's people, we there. Military bases, government houses. I know I'm a police, I'm a we, 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 we take a big map and we do a one mile radius around the church. We knock on every door. And we've been to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 17, 20 mile radius. And we've been doing this for many years. So when we knock on the door, everybody knows about the river church. I have people that come to the city of Tampa and Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater is about 2.7 million people. And they will be running in the morning on the, on the, on the river walk and they see me at lunchtime. They said four of your congregation members stop me and led me to Jesus. You know? <laughs> There's people everywhere praying for people. Everywhere. everywhere. So every week there's 
two, three, four thousand people saved in the city. Every Kila day, wiki every kuna watu elfu mbili, elfu tatu, elfu fina, wana okoka tu. And we fill up all the churches. Tunajaza makanisa. They don't understand what we're doing, but we understand what we're doing. Awa elewi kwa nini nafanya hivo, lakini sisi tunaelewa ni kwa nini. But we also targeted senior homes, you know, retirement homes. Pia tunaenda kwa nyumba ya wale watu mbao wa mistafu, wazee, wazee. And we hit schools, primary schools, high schools. Wajana shule, za upili, za misingi. There are more teenagers being saved in our county than any other county in America right now. And that's not our statistics, that's from other groups that have said. Because we've got four, five-year-olds leading people to Jesus. We've got eight, nine, ten-year-olds leading people to Jesus. We have 14-year-olds leading people to Jesus. And we have 80-year-old ladies leading people to Jesus. Everybody is a soul winner. And that's how we will see Kenya shaken. The most important thing is people and souls. That's why Jesus came. And I'm going to say this. If you go to a church and they say, no, we don't do that. Leave that church. I'm just telling you right now. Any church that doesn't want to win souls, is, you don't even want to be a part of it. I, I wouldn't go there, so why would I tell you to go there? Because sometimes people want to control the narrative. Going to all the world is still going to all the world in Greek. And then you live in water, but in a semi for you. It, it, it no matter where you are, people need Jesus. People need Jesus. So, we go to, we've seen probably millions now in retirement homes and assisted living homes. And there's so many stories of people that are senior, very senior, about to die. And the person prays the prayer. And when they say amen, they die. It's like you, you pluck them right from the jaws of hell. Like they, they were hanging on, waiting for somebody to come. And this story is remarkable what I'm about to tell you. One of our soul winners went to an assisted living home. And she was going from room to room to room. And she looked in this one room and there was a lady lying curled up in a fetal position. And the lady was making this noise. Uh, so she said to the nurse, can I talk to that lady? The nurse said, no, she hasn't talked to anybody in two weeks. She not even eat food or drink water. She's going to die. She will probably be dead in the next hour. The lady said, please, please, can I talk to her, please? The nurse said, Look, she, she doesn't talk to us. She's not going to respond to you. But the lady was persistent. I must speak to I have to. The nurse was getting, like irritated. Like mad. So finally she just gave up. Okay, go. But she nothing going to happen. So she went up to that lady and she shook her. And the lady opened her eyes and looked into her eyes. And the lady said, My soul is lost. My soul is lost. The reason she was groaning was because she knew she was dying. And she didn't know where she was going. And there was no one to help her. And the soul winner looked at her and said, 
You won't be lost anymore. Pray this after me right now. And the lady gave her life to Jesus. And she went out of the room. Four minutes later she came back. And there was, a, there was a sheet covering the body. I'm telling you. God loves people so much. Can you say amen? Amen. I will tell you a story that happened with me. I was not ready for this one. <laughs> we go to this retirement home, assisted living home. And there was a sign that said Alzheimer's unit. Alzheimer's, uh, yeah. Alzheimer's. So the people, they, they don't remember who they are. So I thought, I'm going to go in there. They've already lost their mind. Let me see so, if I can connect with somebody. So Because I have preachers that tell me I've lost my mind all the time. So hey, I might be able to reach somebody here. So I walk in there. I was not ready for this. A little lady sees me. And she lights up and she sees me and she goes, Frank! And I look to see who's Frank. And she's looking at me. She said, Frank! My son! My son! You've come to see me. And I thought, I'm not Frank. I'm going to tell her I'm not Frank. I've got to tell her. I can't tell her that I'm Frank. And the Lord said to me, Today, Leo, you are Frank. Frank. And I looked at her. And I said, Mom, I'm so happy to see you. And I hugged her. And she snapped out of dementia. I prayed the prayer with her. She gave her life to Jesus. Then she go back into a fog. I will see that lady in heaven. Let me tell you right now. God loves people. He loves people. Today, between now and midnight tonight, you will pray with one person to get saved. And I want to hear testimonies. Even this afternoon, you can come, come, come tell the ushers, I've got a testimony. I prayed with somebody. You can even call family members. We've we children lead their parents to the Lord. They haven't talked to their parents in years. They call them up and say, Dad, I want to tell you I love you. And then they read this, the card. The father cries and he gives his life to Jesus. Mothers get saved. Uncles get saved. Aunts get saved. Cousins get saved. Brothers get saved. And how many of you have unsaved loved ones? Who has unsaved loved ones? Wave your hand. As you go after somebody else's unsaved loved one, God will send somebody after yours. Now, let me, let me tell you one other story. One of our ladies was at a bus stop in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And there was a man dressed in a three-piece suit with a briefcase. And she walked up to him and she was reading the script. She said, has anyone ever told you that God loves you? It's a great plan for your life. And if you died today, where would you spend eternity? The man's face, the blood drained from his face. He was visibly shaken. And he said, yes. Two days. Days ago, somebody saw me in the streets and they asked me that question and I swore at them and said, get away from me. But I have not been able to sleep for two nights. I have been so concerned for my soul. Please pray for me. And she Led him to the Lord. Amen. 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 God will use every one of you Mungu to be mighty mungu soul winners. Now, let me show you when you realize what I'm saying to you is of the utmost importance. 100 years from this day, you will realize 
utatambua that I was telling you the most important thing that you could ever hear nilikuwa nakwambia jambo ambalo lina busara na la muhimu zaidi when you make souls your number one goal wakati unafanya nafsi kuwa ndio namba moja kwako kufikia heaven will move on your behalf bingu itashughulika kwa jina yako because heaven is moved on my behalf ana mbingu iliyohusika kwa ajili yangu everything about us is souls and the heart kila kitu ikafanyika kwangu because that's why jesus came kwa sababu hiyo ndio sababu yesu alikuja the son of man is to seek and save that which is lost wana wadamu walikuja kutafuta na kuokoa kilichopotea and many people in churches they get excited about the 99 twinka nisani wanafurahia tuseme oh, look at my 99 sheep lakini watafuti ile moja my 99 sheep they sing so nicely wale 99 wanaimba vizuri oh i have 199 sheep Yaani niko na hao 100 lakini 99 wapo. The shepherd leaves the 99. Chungaji anaacha 99. And he finds the one. Anaenda kutafuta ile moja. And God is going to use you to find the one. Mungu atakutumia kutafuta hiyo moja. Listen. Sikize. Listen. Sikize. Listen carefully. Sikize kwa makini. You can hear the cry of the lost in Nairobi. Unaweza sikia kilio cha waliopotea Nairobi. There's people about to commit suicide right now. There's somebody about to take drugs right now. There's somebody about to take drugs. They're crying out. 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 They're crying